Gotta get my fans on me, they dig them up. Ain't no money about to sell them. Think about Trey, I'm finna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm about to show you guys two of the best working room glitches on Elden Ring that you guys can do after all the most recent patches and updates. And before today's video does get started, make sure that you guys are going to our pin comment down below and enter our Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC giveaway that does drop this month. So make sure that you guys are going to the pinned comment down below and following all those steps for a chance to win. And one last and final thing for my people who want a max player instantly, literally without having to do anything at all and at a snap of a finger, here's a message from today's video sponsor. Today's video is going to be sponsored by MMOXP, the best place to buy affordable rooms and items on Elden Ring. This site is going to give you an abundance of items to choose from on all three platforms that mean PC, PlayStation, and even uh, Xbox. And when you guys are checking out on the site, make sure that you guys are using code C2K for a 5% discount. And to get to MMOXP instantly, just check the link in the description down below. Thank you to MMOXP and let's get back to the video. All right, now that all that has been said and is out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Enjoy the glitches. It was going to be in everybody's favorite place once again, which is the Dynasty Mausoleum Site of Grace. Now, once you guys do get this Site of Grace, all you will do is load in from here. You'll be like facing the mountains. Hold on, let me turn my HUD on so you guys can see everything perfectly. All right, boom. So once you guys do spawn in, like I was just telling you guys, you just want to drop down like so. Once you have dropped down, you will then be able to spawn Torrent. And you just want to follow where I'm going in the video right now. Uh, I'm not going to fast forward because it's not that far away. But basically what you want to do is stick to the right side of the map. Once you do get past this little red guy, uh, be very cautious because the skeleton will come out of the ground and begin to shoot at you. So what you just want to do to avoid the attack that he's going to send is get like over here towards this mountain. Uh, once he is done with his attack, though, he will go back into the ground. OK, he's done. You want to make your way over to this big white uh, tree stump right here and this black tree. That's how you know that you are in the right area. Now, from here, what you're going to do is basically jump up on this mountain and you're going to jump outwards towards the left and jump inward towards the tree. And if done correctly, you know, it will look exactly like this. All right, now at this point, once you guys have turned torn, you know, and the mate that have jumped outward and inward towards the tree, all you're gonna do is scale the mountain that is behind us. And if done correctly, it will look exactly like this. All right, now at this point, once you guys have scaled the mountain and you are up here, all you're going to do is make your way back to the back side of the mountain. You guys know this is just another, another way to get to the back side of the mountain that not too many people talk about. But anyway, once you guys are here, all you want to do is go into your inventory. You're going to use the gold foul pickle foot, of course, before doing any type of room glitch on Elden Ring. Once you have used the gold foul pickle foot, you're going to go back into your inventory and you're going to use the silver uh, foul pickle foot as well. Now, at this point, you guys just want to make sure that you do have a melee weapon in your hand, preferably a sword. OK, make sure that it is in your primary hand, which is the right hand slot. And basically from this cliff right here with all the blood, you're basically just going to do a run and jump, a double jump. But make sure that your second jump is kind of delayed so you do get out far enough. Once you have made your second jump, you're just going to begin melee in the air. And if done correctly, it will look exactly like this. All right, now at this point, once you guys are falling like this, the only thing that you guys need to continuously do is just remain swinging until your player has been sparked with runes. And this will take around 15 to 30 seconds. And that's just what I'm about to do. And I'll be right back once I have been sparked with those runes. All right, now once your player is fully sparked with those runes and you guys are done, all you simply want to do is teleport right back to the side of grace that we did start with in the beginning of today's video. And as you guys can see, I started today's video off with 2.5 million and now I am at 2.8. So you get almost 400,000 runes for doing that rune glitch right there towards the back side of the map. It's right up here at Fort Farrah. And this side of Grace is right over at Kalid. If you guys don't know where Kalid is, it's basically the red part of the map. Um, to know if you're here, you will see this right here. It's literally outside in front of this uh, map. But anyway, of this little castle, my bad. But anyway, once you guys do get here, 
the thing that you will be needing is the dragon communion seal or if you don't have the dragon you know seal you can use anything that basically allows you to cast incantations but the incantation that we're going to be using is the swarm of fly spell okay now once you guys have this all you simply are going to do from this uh side of grace is come over towards this dragon like you guys see me doing right now all right you're gonna you're gonna come up uh right on the side of it just like so and you're just gonna begin casting the spell while you are on top of torrent now what it is going to do is put a little damage meter on the side of top left like you guys see right now but basically what you guys are going to do is continuously spam the swarm of flies until the dragon does die like you guys see me doing right now just like so now once you guys see that dragon jump all you're going to do is simply turn your camera around, run back to the side of grace, and sit right at the side of grace. And if you guys have done that correctly, the dragon will still be here, and you will be given runes, just like you guys saw right there. And basically, that's all there is to it. Very, very easy and simple glitch. You can rinse and repeat this. Now, please, I can't stress this enough. Pay attention to the health of the dragon because if you get here too slow and you don't run as soon as you see that dragon twitch and the health bar disappear and you don't make it to this side of grace in time, the dragon will disappear and you will have to beat the game all over again to start this room glitch. But once you guys have the dragon here, just make sure that you are, um, you know, doing it like I just showed you guys. Also, if you want more rooms from this, you can pop a gold foul, pickle foot or golden uh, pickle foot foul, whatever you guys, however you guys want to say it before you do kill them and it will give you more rooms. But that's completely all there is to it, man. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. It is me, your boy, Charles DK. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.